Hello, yes, hello Joro, hello Phantom, hello Emmy, hello Ave. Whoa, Fire Emblem Cypher suddenly got cool 16 big Well this isn't Cypher, so it's it's okay. Hello, Nuts. Thank you for the bits. I sound low? Is that a... hang on. Like, volume-wise, or...? I'm... I, uh... You're kind of quiet. Uh-oh. Really? Uh-oh. Let's see. My, my equalizer says I'm pretty good right now. Volume. Can't hear you over the bot drops. Oh my god, just what I needed. How how am I in relation to the game though? Uh, let's, you know, maybe I'll just move closer to my mic. Maybe maybe we'll just do this for the whole stream. That'll be great. Let's uh, let me let me listen to it on my phone for a second. I'd love to play Fire Emblem right now, but your voice is fine in relation to the game. I guess the stream itself is kind of low. Uh, I don't know if that's I don't know how to fix that. One second. I'm listening to it on my phone, and I think I sound all right. How do I... Huh. Oh, good evening, Noel. Welcome, welcome. Uh, for those of you in chat who aren't aware, Noel was the person who invited me over to the uh, Anime Toronto to table with him uh, back in September of last year, so... Yeah, it's good to have you around. We're just playing some Fire Emblem and chatting. You headed to Anime North this year too, right? Better than volume the most streams I visit, where I have to max my volume to hear anything properly. I think it's like, I think it's average volume. The volume is, I might have to turn it up a little bit, but I don't think it's different from what we've been doing before. And Anime North, nice, me too. Me too. I tagged along with a, as a secondary artist, so uh, I did not get in the lottery, unfortunately. I did not get on the waitlist either, uh, but I was able to find someone who would take me on as a secondary, so I got very, very lucky. Hmm. Let me know if the volume is... I think the volume... My equalizer says it's okay, but... And it sounds fine on my phone, but if it sounds like way too low, uh, if it's like really uh, irritating, uh, let me know. It's better now? Okay, you got in the lottery. Yo, lucky. Nice. Hello, Donut. I played a lot grounded in Switch. Sadly, there's a game breaking bug. Manually save crash the game. Dash, and I depend of auto save. Please, Obsidian, fix it. Can I cry? Conveniently, I was in Japan at the time, so I had to sort out administrative stuff while I was in the middle of vacation. That's rough. That's rough. How was your trip to Japan? Was it fun? Was it was it your first time going there? I think we need to do some inventory management before we hop in this map. Uh. I need to sell some stuff. Let's see if I can... Can I... Can I... Uh, is there a store I can do? Is there a store I can do here? There is, yes. There is. So let me just give me a second here. Take some stuff to sell, like the uh, goddess icons, the blue gem, and so get, get rid of those. It was fun. Nice. Second time. I love Fog of War. Yeah, let's talk about this map. Uh, this map comes at a, a point in the game where you really, really need a breather. Like, you went through uh, Dread Isle, then you went through Prisoner of Magic, and then you went through Dragon's Gate without any shops or anything at all. And your weapons are kind of breaking at this point, and you really need to just buy some stuff. And they do have shops here, but it's Fog of War. This map is terrible. Oh, also they're all steel weapons. What the hell? Where's my, uh, where's my hand axes? Oh, wait, hang on, there's a second. Wait, there's more here. Hang on. Oh, yes, this is the shop we want. Okay.
So yeah, so this is the part of the map where it, you think it's supposed to be a breather, you would really like a breather, but the game just keeps throwing stuff at you. And this map is, I really don't like this map. The boss is somewhere down here and it's fog of war. So you don't really know his range exactly. And also I think this is the same, this is the first map where you start to fight Wyvern Riders. And those are a pain in the ass, especially when it's fog of war and they have like eight move and they just come at you out of the fog of war and snipe your units, which is a lot of fun. Ballista too? I don't think there's, oh, are there Ballista on this map? Oh, there are. I don't think they really help out that much though, cause straight up you need to see the enemies to hit them and you can't see anything in the fog of war. So screw me, I guess. The one saving grace is this is right after the map where you get Legault, so Maybe we can make something happen with that. Yeah. I'm gonna try some games that you can never play ever here. Yes, there are a lot of good games in Japan. Fog of War, yeah, Fog of War. It's, uh... This is a nice little cheese you can do. Because the thief has increased range, you can move him around in the battle prep and see what you're up against. So let's see these people here. 11 attack, 6 speed. Uh, Kanas has 12 speed. Also has 18 attack, so he's not going to lose against these guys. We'll just send him up here then. What's down here? I believe there's, yeah, there's people down here too. Uh, these guys are fine, not a big deal. Does Marcus have, have more defense or Bartry has a lot of defense actually. I'll just send him in. Surprisingly, Bartre is really turning out to be a beast right now. Thieves and torches. Uh, I will use thieves. I don't know if I'll use torches, but I think torches would be a smart decision, actually. Let me see if I can put them on Bartre. Yeah, so that's the thing, Donut, is Wyvern Riders are really good in this game. Or in, in all the games, which is why they never give you one for free at the start. Your early game Pegasus Knight is never a Wyvern Rider, because that would be busted. Ooh, Luna and Nosferatu, that's good. Uh, I think it's time to promote Oswin, honestly. Maybe yeah, I should promote, promote Oswin. But then again, I don't know if I get a Knight's Crest later on. When's the next Knight's Crest? Is it a... The next one is Talons of Light, right? Uh, let me see. Fire Emblem 7. I forgot what the next map is. Uh, New Resolve. Kinship's Bond. Sorry, yeah, yeah, Kinship's Bond, the one with the, uh... Oh, so you do get a Knight's Crest in this map. Okay, then in that case, uh... Let's just use it on Oswin, who cares? Yeah, go ahead. So I really wanted to promote Sane because Sane's been so close to death so many times, but I want to give him like maybe at least one level before he promotes. And I don't think this is the level to bring him on to train him up because I really don't trust these Wyvern Riders and these Poison Lances. So uh, we'll bring Oswin and then we'll use Oswin and to enemy face some damage. And hopefully next, Chapter we can train up Sane. Yes! Oswin is here. I love him. I love Oswin so much. Uh Lance Reaver. Yes, we'll give him the Lance Reaver. He'll probably need it. <laughs> Marcus, uh, you can take a torch as well. Who's gonna be our shopper? Legault will be our shopper. No, actually I need him on turn one, so let's use Priscilla to be our shopper. Priscilla, uh, I'll give her one more one more turn before uh, one more map before I use the guiding ring on her. Let's do this right over here. Oh, hey, Dusty! Welcome, welcome. We are uh, we're back at it, <laughs> doing some more Fire Emblem. This is a great, great map. It's not great at all. I hate it. So Oswin will go, we'll just march down the middle with Bartre. And Marcus will grab the, uh, the, the, whatchamit here. The village here. And Legault can circle back around, I guess. Sure. 
How was the traffic? Oh, that's a whole story. So, this is the reason why I'm late today. And I was thinking about it. Isn't it weird how... Because this is a VOD. This is going to be a VOD. I'm... And when the YouTube audience watches this, they're going to be like, oh, this guy's just talking about why he's late, but, you know, they can't perceive that. So it might seem pointless to talk about in the long run, but I literally don't have anything else to talk about right now. So uh, what happened was gas is going up in Canada by like 17, 14 cents or something like that. And it's ridiculous. And I realized this today. So after work, I was thinking, or after dinner, I was thinking I should go grab some gas at Costco. Unfortunately, everyone else in Canada had the same idea as me. I should have seen it coming, and there was terrible traffic, not even to the Costco, but around the Costco parking lot. And after a certain point, I was like, okay, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go to some regular ass, <laughs> regular ass uh, gas station and just fill up there. So I filled up at like a Petro Canada or whatever. And then I came back. And by that point, it was an hour past stream time. So that's my story. How's your, uh, how's everyone else's, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday night going? Gas is a cause of civilians' wars. Yeah. But also, I need gas this weekend because I'm going places. I'll tell you where I'm going, actually. There's a new manga cafe. You went to Costco, there's guaranteed traffic. Well, sometimes, sometimes. The last two times I went to Costco... Wait, am I buying with the right person? I think I am, right? Silver iron axes don't cost 135 typically, so... That's fine. We'll just buy a lot of hand axes. I mean, at certain times, Costco isn't bad. Uh, the last few times I've went to Costco, the traffic, I guess, must have been at a good hour because the traffic wasn't terrible, but this time I could barely see the, uh, the, uh, the gas station. And the line was just wrapping around the entire parking lot. And after, like, 20 minutes of waiting in line, I was just thinking about cutting my losses and leaving, and that's exactly what I did. Going right, I can tell the workers would tell us in our meeting that we suck, but they said we were poggers. Hey, I guess you guys were the pog champs today. That's great. That's great news. Being able to li live in Toronto is a miracle, so I don't own a car. I use transit. Okay, but you you, you see, Donut. What if I, I meant to uh check my... I meant to check my... I meant to check Merlinus so I can see... uh. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the volume of the game. Uh, yeah, okay. I think this is alright. I went to check the the merchant to see what my items are, actually. So let's see. Merch. Ah, yes. This is what I like to see. Oh, yes, baby. This is the optimal Fire Emblem 7 loadout right here. Okay. Our can is having a rough as of late. Yeah. So here's what I was gonna do. Here's what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to go and check out this uh, manga cafe that's opening near me. It's the first ever manga cafe in Toronto, in Canada, in Ontario. That's a lie because there was a manga cafe back in Ontario a few years ago and that shut down. So now it's the, technically the first. The only manga cafe. The mandatory loadout, yes. And so here's my question, has anyone been to a manga cafe before? I know Noel was just in Japan, maybe he went to one, but I don't know if there's any in the US typically. It seems like a very niche thing, even, um, even inside of anime spheres. Yo, Austin, hello, welcome, welcome. He didn't go to a manga cafe, that's fair. I mean, I, I, if you can't read Japanese, I guess they're kind of lost on you. Japan is having a rough secure popular plush. As bad as a 59 USD. Oh, that's rough. The, the yen is going down. Yikes. Major tourist attractions. 
There isn't a manga cafe here. I've been to a board game cafe with my friends. So the lack of manga cafe. Yeah, there isn't a manga cafe here. Uh, there used to be one. Donut. I don't know if you heard of Akiba Kisa. Akiba Kisa. But that was a thing. Back in uh, 20... Like, 16 or something like that. I went a few times. It was okay. But, uh... I feel like manga cafes cater to a very specific type of clientele. And that clientele might not be here in Canada. I did visit Akihabara. Nice. Game stuttered for a bit. That was scary. You get used to it. I don't know what happens. This game freezes all the time, but it never crashes. So that's good, at least. Can I get Ellie with this kill? Yes, I can. I think I'll give Ellie with this kill. I should, uh, do I have any staves I can give, uh, Kanas, actually? I bet I do. Where's that torch stuff? That torch stave. Torch staff. Let's go grab this. And you can put back, uh, Nosferatu. I don't think it's that good in this game anyway. And let's bring torch. And we can feed this over to Priscilla in a little bit. Oh, no. You're too far away. Unless I use Ninian. Will I use my Dancer to give this guy one kill? Of course I will. It was 2016, it was 2016, I was too busy being a mouth breather to know about it then. That's fair. It was like in Markham too, so... It was, it was out there. But yeah, like I was saying, I think manga cafes cater to a very different type of uh, client, right? I looked at it, and apparently they only have about 15 seats or so, and I'm afraid that, like, this place is going to be too small. I always felt like a manga cafe, you would have a, a very large area, like, almost like a library, kind of, but... I don't know. At least the one I went to, the one cafe in Canada before it closed down, was kind of like that. I should be training up my Hector a little bit, actually. I wonder if I can, uh, 19, 23, eh. Yeah, no way. Level 3? Elliewood is only level 3? Yeah, I never deployed him! What did you guys expect? I, like, w wasn't this the consensus, is you don't train up the, the lords you don't have to deploy in uh, Fire Emblem 6? I thought we all agreed on this. This is a B, right? Okay, so this is a... Yeah, we can see if we can do some damage with this. Oh, wait. Is this an A? What? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, yikes. He's Why are you guys all surprised? Wait, I thought we never used... I thought we never used Elliewood. This Friday I have an English oral exam. Oh, good luck. Good luck. That sounds rough. Is this an A? It is an A. Oh, I didn't know that. I should have known. Can you kill Oswin? You cannot kill. I mean, it's Elliewood. I see no issue with him being level 3. Would have been a waste of EXP to make him good. Exactly, so... Like, this is... This is optimal Fire Emblem gaming, you see? Is Lin and Ellie Wood at like level 3 and Bartray with 5 hand axes. That's it. That's all you need. I am late to the late stream. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't uh... Oh wait, is my uh... Hang on. I don't think my restream chat is picking up YouTube. Let me just uh... Do a quick test there. No, it's not picking up YouTube. That's rough. Uh, one second. Is Junior Packer into the stream and I didn't see his message? That's weird. I thought I, uh... Just change those settings real quick. There we are. 
Very nice. I shudder thinking about Ellie Wood's nine con unpromoted, causing him to lose seven speed. What? I forgot about that. I guess I never had, did use Ellie Wood that much. That's rough, Joro. I hope you uh, get a good grade on that. Honestly, considering how absurdly heavy legendary weapons are in the game, Hector is like the only person in the company who uses legendary weapon. That's correct. That's correct. Cypher really did get out of new life. Oh yeah, let's talk about Cypher for a little bit, actually. Um, <laughs> that was a lot of fun, um, doing Cypher on Ave's stream. It was actually surprisingly easy to pick up. And I kind of want to play some more someday. Maybe, because I know Kage in my uh, Discord in the chat right now is like, got heavily into it. He just started looking up cards and making his own deck, which is superb. Bartry got speed again, by the way, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, Kage's really into it. So maybe during the next VC, we can like, we can sh play around or something like that. I don't know. Could be cool. Yeah, Cypher, a lot of fun. I should have given uh, Bartre a bow, but it's okay, because he can two-hit these Wyverns anyway. I complete my Julia deck. <laughs> That's the thing, Donut, is I just realized that just having one character in a deck is a bad thing, because you don't get supports. It's hard to support uh, that character during combat. And it just doesn't work. Okay, you can take uh, the Silver card, you can take the Torch Stave, and Ninian. I need want to disable Ninian's animations, actually. Oops. Uh, one, 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 one. Okay, be good. The best part about Bartre is that hand axes don't cost bonds. <laughs> this is true. This is why this game is imbalanced. They had to balance him in Cypher by <laughs> making hand axes cost bonds. Deal with the low base attack. Purple cards also manipulate top deck. So here's my question though, is... Ave told me that purple cards are, uh, what was it, like GBA? Are purple cards GBA, like, error cards? Or did I- am I completely, like, misinterpreting what he said? I thought that's what he said, was, like, purple cards are GBA-themed era cards, and then, like, the white and black cards, like, Hoshido and Nor cards. Yeah, so does that mean all GBA cards just manipulate the top deck? That's interesting. And, like, conversely, that, like, there's not that many, for example, Fates cards that manipulate the top deck, etc., etc. Interesting. 12 damage. I should be leveling up my Hector. How much damage do you do, Legal? 14? 10. You're gonna do 4 times 2. Unleash the lobster. Wait long game. <laughs> Link gets donked by 8 speed. Hey yo, that's crazy. Aside from edge cases like Poe. Oh. I see, I see. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, I should have used the other, uh, the steel sword. Oh, it's okay, he missed. Antitoxin. Ah, yes. Does anyone legitimately use the antitoxin? I've always just kind of waited for the thing to go away. It's really not too much of a pain to do. Let's torch it up. 
forgot this is a poison map. Yeah, not only is there wyverns and fog of war, there's poison. So if you had any, you know, if you need any more reasons to hate this map, look no further. <sighs> Socials. Oh, sorry, Phantom. We don't have those. What bot is that that does that for you anyway? <laughs> That's like a bot that does those uh, exclamation mark commands for you, right? It's not a built-in Twitch integration. I've seen it around. I don't know what it's called, though. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do one thing, actually. I noticed this last stream. I'm a little annoyed that the text box is kind of low here. It's covering... Yeah. Try to see if I'm in backcourt. Oh, let me pass that invite over to you. Uh, let's see. It's somewhere on my Twitter. One second. Let me go grab it. We're looking at enemy phase anyway. Can Marcus make it? Wait, is, is Marcus in danger? Let's see. Where is my Discord server? Oh, here it is. Here it is in the Twitter. Here it is in the, in the Twitch. Oh, Marcus is in a danger. The villages. Oh yeah, no, I, I noticed that. I moved. That's why I moved Marcus in front, so he can go grab the village. And I guess Barcha could probably grab it too. Yeah, that's not a big deal. We're fine. We okay. We okay. See, normally. When there's villages, I'm really happy uh, because then they usually have bandits to encourage you to go faster. But here, it's like you don't even know how fast he's going. Oh, wait, hang on. Eight speed. Eight speed! Oh my god, Oleg. <laughs> Oleg, what is wrong with you, man? I forgot how little speed this boss has. That's insane. Elliewood at level three has more speed than Oleg. <laughs> What is wrong with this man? 5 times 2, so you're gonna have 11 HP. 11 HP is not enough for you to kill, so we're just gonna sit here for a little bit. Desperately waiting for news on any Nintendo property right now. Haven't gotten a mainline direct, wasn't excited for the partner direct stuff. No leg! <laughs> Good one. I need to show you guys this, uh, Hang on, speaking of no leg, I should show you guys this TikTok of this kid just collapsing. Let me see if I can bring it up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. My girlfriend showed this to me and I was like, this is hysterical. And then I spoke to her, I referenced it today, and she did not know what I was talking about. But here it is, here it is. I wanted to show you guys this. Watch. I'm gonna mute the, uh, let me mute the game. My boy legs couldn't take it anymore. Carson. You That's it. That's the real. It's pretty good. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, that's Oleg right there. Oleg <laughs> stopped working. See, the thing is, I've had that happen to me. But, like, as... As an adult. <laughs> His legs just stop working, right? Like, imagine Elliewood losing to a monk. He will if I let him fight him. He two sh gets two shot. Okay, well, I'll keep Ninian here, just so in case he misses, we have another shot at killing the monk, but I doubt we'll need it. His legs just stop working? Yeah, like, so, okay, so, like I was saying, I've had that happen to me, but as an adult, I just, like, am just walking and I just, like, ugh, you know? 
maybe like back in college or university, I just was just really, really tired. And then it just happened, you know? You just collapse a little bit. You stumble a little bit. You don't collapse. If this guy crits Hector, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, good. Are you a 30 year old? Do you think you have low iron? Was it after standing up quickly? No, no, no. I think it was just like I, I stumbled a little bit. Good evening. Good evening, Tomo. Welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> we're just talking about how our legs stop working sometimes. Maybe move Ellie when Kanas back so the monk isn't on a forest. Ah, that would have been a good idea. Sorry, did Hector not kill this guy? I thought he would have. Oops. Underappreciated monk crit animation missed. Oh, thank you for the follow, Sergio. Hector missed a second shot. Okay, I wasn't looking. <laughs> This is what streaming does to you. You can't pay attention to the game. You're talking about how you stumbled one time and it made you feel like this one TikTok of a kid falling over. Aka, are you part of general audiences? 15 to 25 year olds who enjoy God of War. Or general audiences, 15 to 25 year olds who enjoy Fate Stay Night. Uh, none of those, unfortunately. I do not know of God of War. I should have stole the vault of the anti toxin from this guy, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I I don't I don't I don't engage in any of those IPs. I watch um, I know of Fate Grand Order, and I like that, despite never having played the Gacha game or the original IP. But uh, other than that, I'm not involved with those. I just came back from my bike rally. I was trying to build momentum right into the car. Aww. Damn, that's rough. World hand axe. Do you like Final Fantasy? Uh, hmm. I tried to play Final Fantasy... 6? I think? The one with, um, the one with, it's the one with, uh, it's the one on the SNES, and there was this dude called, I think, Cecil? And he was like a dark knight, I think. And there was another dude, I think, called Kane, and he was a dragoon, and he jumped a lot. FF4? Okay. <laughs> My actual taste in media are not very mainstream. Exactly right. And Noel, that's the problem, is when people want to, like us, go to conventions, we have nothing mainstream to show for it. <laughs> and then we and then it's hard to make hard to like make uh hard to make sales, you know? When you don't have uh mainstream IPs. Well infinite wealth is very mainstream, I think. Infinite wealth is, is very mainstream. Yakuza is getting mainstream these days. Did you really get into SNES Final Fantasy? Yes. Final Fantasy 4, I guess, is the one I played. That one was very good. I did not finish it. Uh, I did not finish it, but it was still very good. Because here's the thing, is... I got stuck at one point, and I wanted to look up a walkthrough. And then the walkthrough was immediately like, oh, here's like three secrets in the first town that you missed. If you go here and talk to this guy, you get this item. If you go here and talk to this guy, you get this other item. And I was like, damn, well, maybe I shouldn't, maybe if I'm playing the game like this unoptimally, maybe I shouldn't like, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't play it. <laughs> Fire Emblem, at least, is a lot of people waiting for FE merch. A real type of Persona on my Twitter feed than Yakuza? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not, like, saying that Yakuza is more 
uh, popular than Persona, but I think that Yakuza is like... It's hit mainstream, like all the games are on PC, it's all getting translated, like all Infinite Wealth was a, what, a simultaneous worldwide worldwide release, like a straight up AAA game. Uh, meanwhile, like, I don't know. Niche, I would consider... I would consider... Ace Attorney, like, light niche. They have trouble getting their spin-off, their spin-offs translated, but... I believe their... I don't remember if their mainline games were released simultaneously worldwide or not, but... They definitely have a big uh, cultural resurgence as of late. I've not seen the Yakuza on my feed for a while, but a few years ago it was inescapable. Yeah, Yakuza has spiked in popularity. That's a good way of putting it. They haven't made a new USA turn- yeah, no they haven't. <laughs> it's very sad. Everything we've been getting is, like, uh, re-releases or localizations. I don't think they made a new one since, like, 2018 or something like that. It's crazy. And then, like, the new... Uh, what was, what was the, like, the... The latest mainline game was in... Frickin' 2016. It's almost been a decade. Good lord. In my opinion, good game design for an RPG would leave hidden stuff along the path that natural curiosity would leave a player to anyway. Yeah. 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 Well, so that's the thing is like, I feel like back in whenever Fire, uh, Fire Emblem 4, Final Fantasy 4 came out, that wasn't, uh, those kind of rules of game design weren't as established. So. Uh, they just kind of did whatever, and that would be something you would hear about from your friends on the playground. Like, oh, you go behind this door and you get this item. And that has its own charm to it, but uh, when I'm playing it on in a vacuum, it just kind of makes me feel a little sad. Good level up, Elliewood. Oh, nice. Did you get strength? And defense? And speed? It's all that matters. I, I forgot Oleg's range. Let me just double check that. Oh, I can't. Uh. I've been interested in Insomnium files, but I haven't bought those games yet. Have you tried uh, Zero Escape? 999 is straight up one of my favorite visual novels. I think you got speed. Yeah, that's bottom left. Oleg can move? Yes, he can. That's the scary part about this map. Oleg can move. It might be a difficulty thing, but he definitely can move. I haven't tried either of those, but I know what those are. Yeah, no, they're very good. I love them. 999, favorite visual novel. I think it even beats out uh, Ace Attorney for me. But only, only 999. Uh, the sequels, which are part of the Zero Escape trilogy, uh, Zero Time Dilemma and Virtue's Last Reward are less good. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them as much as 999, but that's also only because 999 is so high up there. You know Amori. I know of it. I heard it's a little scary. Maybe I'll play it one day. I'm interested. I actually experienced Zero Escape in... Reverse chronological order. I started with ZTD and ended with 999. What? That must have been so confusing for you. <laughs> have you played AI the Somnium Files? I have not. My partner has, though. I think she thinks they're okay. I think... I, I don't think she likes them as much as Ace Attorney, but... Because she was struggling to finish the, la the second game. She was... She finished it out of obligation because at some point she wanted to play Paper Mario and she would have felt bad if she didn't finish Paper Mario or uh, Somnium Files first. So I don't know if that speaks with the quality of the game, but that's how much fun she had with it. Omar recovers heavy topics. Ah, so kind of like me. <laughs> I like its sequel less, but I still love them both. See, that that's that's the vibe I get. That's the vibe I got from it. Okay, so this is Oleg's range right now. Uh, basically this hill. And he has a hand axe. And a killer bow. 
no, sorry, he has a steel bow and a killer axe, so this is his range. So I'm going to just try and commit this to memory right now, because I need to step out of this range. Also, Noel, like, your favorite visual novels are Snatcher and Police Knots. Have those even been translated into English? Most fans didn't like the sequel as much. Ah, it's too bad. Worm Slayer. Nice. Snatcher was released on Sega CD officially. Please on this fan translation. Oh, okay. I haven't played a... Is this a route map or a defeat boss map? This is a defeat boss. So I can end it by killing Oleg. I have to end it by killing Oleg. Valhalla is my favorite visual novel. Nice. Good taste. I did a Valhalla drawing recently. You know what? Let's have some fun. Let's send Kanaz into the... Uh, to the arena. Or no, actually, I'm gonna send Bartran to the arena. I don't trust Kanas. He has 28 HP. He's gonna get killed instantly. <laughs> he's gonna hit like a knight, and then he's gonna hit him for 14. He's gonna double him. Something stupid like that. Kanas is good, but only against other magic units. I do not trust him in a physical fight. I saw it. I went feral. I mean, I reacted emotionally. I was thinking about, yeah, because I was trying out, like, you know, Trying out new backgrounds, and I was thinking I might make that a print for my uh, upcoming convention. So I decided to, you know, just try and make it look extra good. Marcus is gonna die! I did not realize he was on that low HP. We miss Julian. Yeah. I remember I played Steins Gate visual novel. I watched the anime. Steins Gate was a very interesting, it was a very good beginner anime. Uh, yeah, I realized that the Wyvern can't actually hit Marcus, so we're good. <clears throat> risking Marcus is risking the can can canonicity of your run. Oh my god, the Javelin crit, or the melee crit <laughs> for the general is so cool. Uh, but Marcus, I think, just retreats, so if he dies, I think we're good. The VA is better because it really makes you suffer alongside Okabe. Yeah, right? I will say that like the one thing about Steins Gate is I think it was made for a different era. In that it takes a while to get going. It takes like what, like 13 episodes before it starts really getting good? Before you have to like start looping and stuff. And it's also why I can, I never, I, I never was able to rewatch it just because it took so long to get around to the good bits that I just dropped it. I got bored before that point. I think I might need a backup actually. My units that is. Yeah, like, it's good as a blind watch for sure, right? Like, you, oh, you, I did not see that like plot twist coming in the middle at all, but... Um, nowadays, it's always like, oh, anime has to get you in the first three episodes or something like that. <laughs> or there's like some weird rule of thumb going around. What's Kanasa's defense? Nine? What's your attack? 22. So you're going to do about... 11 damage. Not good. We're gonna move back. Oh, you can't drop. Damn. You can drop though, right? Yes. Good. Uh, so, Jav here. Let's see if you can kill. Please kill. Good. And then after story was decent. You know, I made a race. It's one of your faves. Oh, you mentioned it once. Uh, I don't, unfortunately. When did it come out? It sounds like an old anime. Angel Beats? That's another old anime. I never watched that one, though. Two episodes. Ooh, two, eh? Yo, Phantom, I don't know if you would survive Mob Psycho. Did you watch Mob Psycho?
Don't worry, Kage, I gotcha. I might be talking, but I know what's going on in the game. I see you, Marcus. I'm gonna heal you up. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. <laughs> Mob Psycho is goaded. I never watched Mob. Mob is great. It's the first anime I watched in years, and it is 100% worth it. Second season is, in particular is a ride. I feel like the second season has one or two... I'm re-watching it right now with my partner. Uh, and the second season right now... What I remember when I first watched it, we're halfway through it, and... What I remember is it had one or two really, really great moments, but the rest of it, I feel like was kind of not as great as the first season. 2016, the anime manga was published 2012. Oh man, that's old, old. Haruhi Suzumiya. <laughs> one of my friends really likes, um... Uh, God knows from that anime, the the song. What's Psyche K? Disastrous life of Psyche K. What in the world? I have not heard of this at all. What's this one about? Logue. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Oh, that. But yeah, I feel like, um, slapstick humor. I need a- wait, I just remembered this amazing comic. I saw this on Twitter the other day, and it, it was described as the funniest two-panel comic in existence, and I'm inclined to agree. It's really, really funny. Let me bring it up on stream. I'll leave it on the side here. You can watch. You can you can read that. What's the most degenerate anime you all have watched? I watched Seito Kaiyakuin Domo uh, all the way through. It had like what two seasons? How did they get two seasons? I feel like it was a different time. I think you shared this. I might have. But it's good. I love it. Ilbaka, I watched that. Oh no. Like, they had a movie too, right? Like, huh? I'm not saying it's like... It, it's not a bad anime, but I feel like it's aged, like, very, very interestingly. And then it might not be as funny uh, uh, to modern audiences. <laughs> I never got on the SA SAO train. Even at the time, I was like, ah, it's a little too much for me. This is a poison lance, a steel lance even. So javelin, poison lance, poison lance. Okay, so Kanaz can only get hit by one guy. I think this is safe. Kiss X Sis. What is that one about? Is it what it sounds like? What do you think it's about? Yeah, I figured. I figured. <laughs> it sounds like one of those anime that came out in like mid-2012, 2013, when those kinds of animes were popular. Did Bartra use up all his weapons? <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, Bartra is getting too strong. He's used up all his weapons. It's okay, you can fight with his bare hands. Looks like he needs more hand axes. Get this man a hand axe. Right now. Ranma one half. I heard of that one.
Denpa Kyoshi. What is Denpa Kyoshi about? Has anyone heard of Denpa Kyoshi? Elliewood. Elliewood, Elliewood, Elliewood. Now is your time to shine. Elliewood, Elliewood, Elliewood. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to move you here. You're going to take the Worm Slayer from Marcus. You're going to get danced by Ninian. You're going to kill that Wyvern Rider. And you're going to res get rescued back by Marcus. Okay, here's the plan, Hollywood. I need you to not mess this one up. You can do this, Hollywood. Hell yes. Good. Good work, Hollywood. Oh, you're still in range. Uh, that's okay, I think. I think that's okay. You don't get killed by this guy, right? Poison Lance? Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, yeah, I think we're just about... I Oh, we should probably buy some staves, actually. That'd be useful. Let's uh, move you here just to body block. Would have laughed so hard if he missed. He had like seven times two, and it was like 70%. I would have been very upset if he missed. Oh yeah, April 20th. Oh man. I prepare something for that, but I am uh, very, very busy with con prep. There's still reinforcements. Oh my God, can I end this map, please? These wyverns are killing me, man. Hector did miss in 94, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the, uh, whatever, the anime. Denpa Kyoshi. Neat teacher who teaches the students to be better people while being a mastermind in physics. This is, like... I feel like... You know what would be a fun game to play? Is if you could guess what time period the anime came out just from its premise. Because I feel like... I feel like anime back in the day were just like very... I wouldn't say simple, but... They were more straightforward. Does anyone like vibe with that? Counts of the character used for your PFP. Interesting. Interesting. The banger hit rate video Pavis made 10 years ago. Oh. Oh. Oh, what did I just do? Oh no. <laughs> I loaded a state. I loaded a safe state. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Undo load state. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was really close. Thank God they have a button for that. I don't know how I did that on my controller. That was crazy. I, undo load state. That's a, that's a very important feature to have in your emulator, I guess. Uh, wow. That was really close for a second. We almost lost so much progress. Imagine, what would have happened? Because... The game would have just saved there, right? So I would have been back in uh, the port of Badon. Right? Because that would have overwritten the uh, the hard save the game does. Let's go into the arena and see what happens. Wyvern Lord, easy. Yeah, I would have overwrote your save. Yeah, that's scary, dude. Made the same mistake playing Shadow Dragon the last seven chapters of progress. Oh my god. That is... That's insane to me. Seven chapters of progress. Good lord. Oh, this is, this is inside a... No, it's not. Okay, good. Wolf Bale? Oh, nice. You do, they do zero damage to you anyway. You're fine. 
I use MGBA. Yes. I didn't play Shadow Dragon again for about a year. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I understand that. Uh, Marcus, I guess you can head up here? Or no, what if some wyverns come from below? I'm afraid of that. Oh, whoa. That was a speed up button. Oops. Emulators have issues emulating Fire Red. Work around save states. One day I lost 200 hours. Ouch. This is kind of related. Uh, painting for six hours, my PC crashed, forgot to say, so I lost it forever. Ouch, that sucks. I always hear those horror stories uh, about... I used to take like a graphics design class and they were always saying like, Oh, make sure you save, otherwise you might lose your progress. And that never happened to me. But it happened a lot to my friends, so I guess I'm pretty lucky. Couldn't paint for three weeks? <laughs> Uh, unload states. Okay. Yeah, that's good. What application were you using? Because I know for a fact that Clip Studio Paint has, uh, has does backups. It periodically, automatically backs up your work. So, even if you do lose progress, it's hopefully not too much. <laughs> I know the horrors of not saving your work and losing your progress. <laughs> Photoshop. Ah, yeah, that's rough. They frequently keep backups on multiple storage devices if possible. I should do that. I was talking with my friends about uh, their backup habits. And they were all like, you know, I don't really keep things on my computer that are important other than... Or no, wait. They were saying how the only things they stored on their computer were like video games so they didn't really have any important files on their computer to preserve and i'm sitting here with my terabyte of art and i'm just sweating because they don't know the struggle and this is a struggle that's exclusive to me within this group so i gotta figure out a way figure out uh how to get another hard drive on here so i can back up all my art Because, in a way, my friends are right. Like, legitimately, what do they even use their PCs for other than, I don't know, gaming and, like, social media and stuff like that? Right? Like, I see where they're coming from. And it really opened my eyes. I use my main PC for everything, even work. You see, yeah, most people have uh, their work gives them laptops to use, so. Terabyte of work. <laughs> yeah, like, if because they're out of school. They don't have essays or, you know, projects to save on their computer that they might lose. Zip file, Google Drive. Yeah. It really opens my eyes, it's such like a PSA term. <laughs> Laptop, used most of the time, I used to play when I'm bored. Cloud storage for college work. Yeah, I use, I like to use cloud storage too, but I don't like paying the subscription fees, so. Good lord, how many reinforcements are there on this map? It's really kind of died down, I feel like I'm just like, chipping away at nothing here. Maybe I'll give Elliewood some more EXP. I don't know, man. I don't think anyone else needs one. Needs needs EXP, that is, here. Let's see, what are you at? 13? Okay, sure. Yes. What about tax forms? That's true, actually. Tax is probably pretty important. You don't even double Elliewood. What are you good for?
Every step of a general shakes the screen. Uh, the unit feel of a general is on point. What is this bandit still doing here? Oh, right. This is, uh, this is Oleg's range right here, actually, so... We gotta be careful. Then again, maybe we're good. I mean... Do we really need... Extra staves and stuff like that? I'll check, but... I doubt it. Maybe we could just lure Oleg over here and kill him, because I was I was planning to wait out the reinforcements so I can use uh, the shops, but if it's going to take this long, maybe it's not worth it. iPad is suffering because Procreate takes up 30 gigabytes. Oh no. I remember something evil and FE6, Helly Heck Hellywood and Hellywood and Hector. Hector and Hellywood are his trial characters and are both level 20 and promoted. You gotta get grinding. That's not true. Uh time skip, you know? Time skip. They get more powerful over the time skip. That's my excuse. Hellywood and Hector. Lance Reaver. I mean, the alternative is that... Oh wait, shit. Marcus is in Oleg range. Let's see if we can rescue him. Can you take Marcus? You can. Nice. Like, the other uh, implication is that... Hector and Elliewood did not do a lick of fighting in between FE6 and FE7, and I also find that to be pretty unrealistic. Who's the red hair dude with the blue cape? That's Elliewood. There are no conflicts in between FE6, 7, and 6, so it has to be done. I <laughs> they gotta get swole now or never. Uh, it's gonna be never. So wait, hang on, Dusty. I think this is the person you're talking about. Let's get past the poison. This guy, right? Elliewood? He's like one of the main characters, but he's also very weak, unfortunately. So I, I, we're not gonna be using him too much. That's Ritsu. <laughs> My brain keeps trying to change Oleg to Eleg from Nike. Nike. Is it Nike or Nike? No, that is not Solid Snake. I think I might want to end the map. I'm getting... I don't think... Yeah, I'm ending the map. We're just gonna put Oswin here, and he's gonna bait out the shots from Oleg, and then we're gonna steal the hero crest, and then we're gonna kill Oleg. Easy. Like father, like son. Weak. Nikkei. Half the art I see of him makes him look like a 30-year-old man or a 20-year-old. Yeah, because he's in the next game. Uh, he is in the next game as the protagonist's father. Uh, and, but he is also super old and you don't. he does not fight because he is super old. So that's when you see him as a 30-year-old man. You should give your channel points a name. I should! What should I call it? Oh yeah, he's a hammer. Shit. Uh, let's calculate this. So, 20 might. He's gonna have 41 attack. 41 attack minus 22. He's gonna do about 20 damage. Which is fine. I'm just gonna heal Oswin. Oh yeah, right, Kanas can heal. Okay, I <laughs> was like, oh shit, I have no healers here. No, Kanas can heal, we're fine. What do I call my channel points? I, I completely forgot. I should have... I completely forgot that people name their channel points. I should call them Scrungos. Scrungo Bucks. Oh, he's Marcus Credo, okay, that's fine. can call the support points head. 
get it. <laughs> That's good. Oh, bot in the chat. Let's get rid of this bot. How do I get rid of bots? I swear, I never get bots. Uh, yeah. Ban this person. Bye bye. Baka bucks or bust. True! No, Marcus, your lord needed that. Who's the strongest in the game? Uh, it's Marcus. This guy. He is Ellie Wood's retainer. Uh, he is also in the next game. And he is also super old. But he is also fighting, unlike Ellie Wood, because I guess he's just busted in that, uh, as a person. He's less good in the next game, but in this game, he's one of the best units. This guy. When I played this chapter, when I was when I played this chapter when I was eight years old, I thought poison was broken. Hello, actual lizard. Wait, I watch your videos on YouTube. What the heck? Oh, uh, how'd you find the stream? Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. It's the eyebrows. <laughs> Everyone knows that power is stored in the eyebrows. Let's see Bartray's eyebrow game. Oh fuck yes. <laughs> That's so funny. I never noticed that connection. That's such a funny connection. Oh, what is this? Hello, actual lizard. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yes, Ava, it's your fellow lizard person. Carla saw those brows and he knew he was the one. Oh. Let's, uh, let's heal the Galt, and then dance, and then heal Oswin. Have you seen Guy from Naruto? Okay, question, question, question. There's this person in this game. His name is also Guy, but everyone pronounces his name as Gi. Okay? How do people pronounce it? Pronounce that character's name in Naruto. Is it also Gi or is it Guy? Because I'm very confused. Who guys harder, Gi or Guy, <laughs> right? It ends here. Your journey is over and only Oblivion awaits you. Okay, okay, six attack. Pronounced dude. <laughs> in Naruto, it's Guy. Uh, Brigand's easy, dude. It's guy in Japanese, but spelt as guy. Oh, it's like a... It's not the word, it's like the... Anglicization of his name. So it's different, you see. I wonder what guy's Japanese name is then. Uh, the guy from Fire Emblem, that is. Steel hero crest yoink I'll take that and now you have fulfilled your purpose you may die this boss is so funny to me he's like one of the worst bosses in the game look three luck eight speed uh, and he also wields a bow so you can bait him into using his bow and then you could just attack him without any counter attack like that's crazy to me <laughs> what were they thinking when they designed this guy it's guy in Japanese. Wait, hang on. Wait. Oh, wait. Bartrick is a six stash in FE6. That's true. Ellie would kill? Wait, you're right. Good, 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 good one, Ave. I should do that. 276. Okay, okay, okay. Guy's Japanese name in JP is Gi. Oh, okay. I see. His name in JP is Gi, so it's still Gi. Ah. Damn. Oh my god, Bartray! <laughs> Bartray just like sucks up all the EXP. Wait, Oleg is a warrior? Yeah. You didn't notice? How else could he wield bows? Bartray ate Ellie Wood's mutton. <laughs> Also, I forgot to send Priscilla to buy stays, but it's okay. <laughs> That's incredible. Incredible. 
So this next chapter is interesting. Oh good, we're ready to get Carla. Yeah, so Lizard, the entire point of this run is I'm a big FE7 head. I love Fire Emblem 7. It's my first uh, official Fire Emblem. My first Fire Emblem was Shadow Dragon, but uh, after that was Fire Emblem 7 after like six years, and that's when I really fell in love with the game. So I replayed Fire Emblem 7 so many times, and I have such a good understanding of like the general flow of the game. Um, I'm not an LTC guy, uh, but like, you know, I understand the, the gameplay intricacies, but I've never recruited Carla ever. <laughs> so I feel really guilty about that. So at this point, I'm thinking like, let's just go whole hog. Let's do a canonical Fire Emblem 7 run. Everything that happens in Fire Emblem 6, let's try and make it happen in Fire Emblem 7. So that song, the Fire Emblem 1 song. Oh, you're right. Yes, that is the Fire Emblem 1 song. I, I just realized, yeah, that, that's a good callback, actually. I didn't realize until now. Look, there they are. Limstella. Carla will carry in final chapter trust. The real question is, can I get Bartra and Carla to A support? Because you have, I think you have exactly three chapters, or maybe four, once you get Carla until the game ends. So you need that support to be building. How do you plan to get Rebecca and Will to marry? Uh, when I have time. When I have time, I'll just sit them next to each other. Limstella is a uh, non-binary, right? <laughs> Canonical, but does not make the BJ Bros level 20. Did you call Hector and Elliot the BJ Bros? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think I'm going to get over this. I love these scenes too. Uh, I feel like Fire Emblem, one of the tropes Fire Emblem has is... Uh, the evil gathering of the evil bad dudes. And they like do like a roll call of everyone. <laughs> they do this in Engage too, they should have like the four... Uh, what was it? The the hounds, they walk up and they're like, oh, here's Mavir. There is uh, Gris. There is uh, Zephia. There is uh, Marnie. They're all, here we are, the four hounds, and we're so badass. Like, they have this scene in every single game, I swear. Do Elliewood and Rebecca have supports? I don't think they do. I just got to that part. Yeah, you see, it's, like, it's a trope. Like, I feel like they have this in every Fire Emblem game. Don't they have one for uh, Fire Emblem 8, the generals of, uh... oh my god, I'm blanking on the name. What's the name of the enemy faction in uh, Fire Emblem 8, the, the kingdom that Lion is uh, in charge of? The supervillain roll call, yeah, exactly. It's not a bad trope, a trope is a trope, it's just an observation. Like, I really like these scenes though, because you get to see the scale of the game, right? And you get to see everything you have to look forward to. Grado, yes. Grado? Grado? Whatever. Grado Six Generals. Yeah. They had that scene as well, uh, with the Six Generals. And I feel like they had that in Fire Emblem... I mean, Fates is like... <laughs> oh, whoops. Fates, I don't feel like Fates doesn't really count. Uh, Awakening doesn't really have that many generals. So to speak, they just have like one or two bad guys over the entire arc that you fight. Uh, can we appreciate that the Black Fang, which is an army, not a group of assassins, just look at how many men they have, were made loyal to Nurgle because Brendan needed the coochie. I respect the hustle. That's funny to me too, right? Like, they reveal that later at some point. That I think like Sonya just seduced Brendan and then was like, okay, give us, hand over the keys to your organization. And that's what exactly what happened. They're all gemstones. Yes, they were. Knowing about Effie Phantom is a bit intense about tropes, cliches, writing things. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, not only do they have writing tropes, they have gameplay tropes. They have, you know, the Jagan 
and then the est and then the uh you know whatever and that's not a bad thing either like it's a great way to telegraph the use of the unit before you even get the unit and even though a lot of these archetypes are kind of made up <laughs> uh it is like gameplay wise kind of clues you into it and i appreciate that as well yeah heath here he is with his like toothpaste hair you know my favorite FE trip was the mysterious woman Kuchi, Kuchi getting a character acting unwise. Yes. I mean, that's honestly just a literary uh, trope. Like, it's happened in Shakespeare, hasn't it? Is Heath canon? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Alir? Well, yeah, I guess Alir works. Is also toothpaste face, but... Heath too. Original toothpaste hair. Exactly. Move over a leer. Keith, who is green toothpaste? Is green toothpaste a thing? Where's Heath again? He's like in the bottom left, right? And then we talked to him with a. Uh... Who do we talk to him with? Is it Lynn? I for Gore, or is it Hector, the main lord? I'm gonna say if <laughs> name was Alir, the name of Colgate is a joke. He throws crap. That's the thing, Jura is like, yeah, I mean, everyone's gonna every fandom I know, I don't like to talk about the 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 discourse and all that in the Effie fandom. I like to have my own kind of corner where things are chill. <laughs> so I just don't like to acknowledge that as much. Main Lord for Heath? Heath Yeah, I think so. Let me let me double check that actually. F7, uh, Resolve, Pinship Bond. Heath, talk with any Lord or Ninian. Okay. NPC, talk with, uh, Wrath is Lin. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so let's take a look at this map because, uh, after that frustrating last map this map is also frustrating but for all the right reasons i like to think there like there's a lot of good things in this map i feel like this map is very uh well designed just because it incentivizes you to rush forward and kill ubins uh but also you want to get these chests and also there's this big like gap down the middle you need to defend uh there's a secret shop here but we don't have a member's card so we're not going to use that there's also heath uh, all these... Wait, where is Heath? He's gonna be around here, I know. But not, not one of these guys, I guess. All these guys have Reaver weapons, so the weapon triangle is going to be reversed for most of these guys. Uh, I know some of them have hand axes, but that's beside the point. Save state just in case. Good idea. Good idea. Thank you very much. Save state. State has been saved. Will we get Assassin Legault? Ooh, that's fun. Where is the fell contract in this game? I forgot, because I never use it. Whoever uses it. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've promoted a thief in this game. I would be very surprised if anyone has promoted any GBA thief. Maybe Colm, I guess, but... I gotta work early, nice, I can make it for a bit later. Okay, Tomo, thank you for joining. Bye-bye. Bell contract is in need of Jafar's guidance chapter. Okay. So after Jafar. Oh wow, that's so funny actually. If they gave it like a bit earlier, I could see a case for it. Right? Because Legault is... I think he joins you at like level 10 or something like that. He's ready to go. He's ready to promote. But at that point, like why would you want to? Aside from the meme, I guess. But, you know. Bell contract in the secret shop? Good lord, how much does that cost? I always promote Legal. he's my scrunkly. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> he is very, very good, actually. I do like his character a lot, and he's very, uh, he's a very good unit as well, so I can see why you like him. All my thieves died in FE6. I did not promote Legal to FE7, and Colm died in FE8, so I used Renak. <laughs> That's so unfortunate, my man. 
When I was a kid, I grinded the airport arena, port town arena until everyone was level 20. Kage, did you have save states? Yes or no? That's my only question right now. Original GBA. I'm afraid of you, man. What are you talking about? You grinded everyone to level 20. Alright, this is the optimal bar tray loadout, so I think we're about good to go. I'll give him a bow, though, because I know we have wyverns. Uh, yep. Lin. Okay, so you guys are just going to sit around and not do anything. There are no... How did you do that? How did you do that? That's insane to me. You can forfeit arena fights. Yeah, but sometimes they kill you too fast. I swear to God, sometimes they kill you too fast. And there are also some that are kind of, you know, iffy on whether you'll win or not. And sometimes you just want to take the risk, right? How can you not resist taking the risk? I, I, I would not, like, be able to resist. You give Sane a sword. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll give Sane the, uh... I'll give Sane the the Worm Slayer, and this is one we're gonna level. Oh, he can't wield it. Okay, never mind then. We'll give him. Oh no, Lance Reaver. Okay, fine, Sane. Okay, I guess we'll just. Uh, what are you D? Okay, great. Uh, what can you wield? Longsword. Okay, sure. I guess there are calves on this map. I want to promote Sane this chapter. Uh, no questions asked. No bars. No bars held. Uh, which means that. Oh, I. Right. I get it after this chapter, the Knight's Crest, that is. Okay, never mind. Forgot about that. The key is not to do the expensive fights. Oh, wait, you can- Oh, you can see the wager? Oh, I didn't know that, actually. I didn't know the wager actually mattered. Uh, Rebecca, Ninian, Sassim, uh, Priscilla. You know who my scrunkly is in this game? Actually, it's Priscilla. <laughs> I like Priscilla a lot. She's very fun to use as being a, a troubadour, and then you promote her, and then she becomes a powerhouse. Because all that magic that you use for healing, you can now use for blasting, right? I like that. I like that dynamic. She died in my run. Oh, rip. That's unfortunate. When did she die? How long did she last? Uh, we got some use out of her, because she's really good. Farina is my scrumble wumble. I like Farina as well. She's probably number two scrungo. Does that feel map? Oof, Battle Before Dawn is rough. Farina is actually really good too. I love, I know you, she's unoptimal. I know you have to pay to get her. I know she's not that great compared to the flyers, but I still like her personality and her design and her combat is not terrible just by virtue of being a flyer, you know? Overpowered paladin swooped in from the shadows and OTK'd her. Was it Cameron? That one named boss that you never get an explanation on? Was it him? I'll bet it was him. That guy. Yeah, I remember that. You remember his name because he's a terror. <laughs> and for like absolutely no reason too. He's cute and very funny. Exactly. That's the that's all you need. That's all you need. why, you know, like, it's fire on engage. It's great. Miscalculated move. Ouch. Yeah. So this map, I'm taking a little bit longer on battle preps because it is really, really rough. Like I said, this map, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of other maps right now that are really good in this game. Uh, I would rank this just maybe below uh, Whereabouts Unknown, the map where you get Raven. You know, you remember, remember, remember Raven? Remember how he got like instantly destroyed by Marcus? That's great. <laughs> yeah, that map is probably just going off the top of my head. The maps we played so far, that map number two, Dragon's Gate number one. This map is probably going to be number three. I really like. Uh, this is kind of like a pseudo defend map because the objective is to defend, but you can also end it early by killing Ubins, which we're going to go for because he has a Knight's Crest, so that's really good. Um, uh, let's see. You know what? I need everyone's scrungos from every game I played. I need to know about the scrungos. We'll talk about the scrungos. 
Goes out of Kent that gone to level 20 before promoting. Yeah, that'll do it, I guess. I want Nosferatu. I'll be useful. Sleep is good too, actually. Sleep might come in use. Uh, barrier, unlock. Oh, unlock! That's good. We'll use unlock, because we don't have any door keys. I was, there's something else I wanted to do. That was kind of like a, oh yeah. Uh, frick. Uh, what are we doing here? This door is going to unlock, right? So, do I want to, I think I want a light rune. No one ever uses a light rune, I swear to God, but I like using it. Does anyone use the light rune in their runs? You have such a cool thumbnail for this. Is it the Lin uh, doing the thing? Thank you. I, uh, yeah, I saw, I, I came up with that idea and I was thinking like, that's so funny, I need to do that. I forgot it existed. I feel that's what happens with most people. Light rune is good for some Oh, that's true actually. Good point. Scrungo every seven is probably Lin, Florian, what counts as a Scrungo? Anything counts as a Scrungo, my dude. Anything. Your Scrungo could be the fell contract that you get after beating uh, Sonia. That counts as a Scrungo. Anything can be your Scrungo. That's the beauty of it. If you like, then Scrungo. Yes, exactly. Remember when Garen saw like baby Corrin and she, he like picked him up? Scrungo. That's it. That's what it's like. I don't make the rules. Door key? Yeah, these doors are gonna open anyway. Why do we even un why do I even need unlock for? <laughs> uh Alright. Light rune. Let's Louise do some cool enemy phasing on some maps. That's true too, actually. That's a good point. I never really used it for my uh I guess yeah, because the archers, you can stop them from getting attacked at one range. That's interesting. I've, I've never seen that, actually. That's very creative. I'm trying to think of my strategy right now. I want to... Because you kind of have to divide your forces. You need one team down here to handle uh, Heath and the chests. You need a team to book ass to Ubins and kill him. You also need one team down here to enemy phase all of these guys. And I think in, this might be Bartre down the middle here. If I have a pure water, this would be the time to give it to him. Nope. Okay. That's okay. No pure water. That's okay. Uh, secret book, dragon shield, hero, crest. Uh, do I want to give... Ooh. Uh, 16 defense. Let me check some break points real quick. Uh, 19. 19. So if I, I mean, 19, 22, 16, 16, what's your 12, 8, 22. So Oswin already takes, already takes no damage from these guys. Maybe I'll send Oswin down the middle then. Uh, okay, yeah, Oswin down the middle, Bartre, uh, sorry, Oswin down the middle, Legault, uh, I guess Priscilla. I uh, think in maybe Sane and Marcus down the side, and then everyone else down the left side, down the right side. And I realized that that is just basically only Bartray down the right side. <laughs> but that's probably enough. That's probably enough. This is Hector mode, right? Yes, it is. Hector hard mode. It is the, uh, the hardest of the hard modes in Fire Emblem 7. Oh, right. I forgot you get, I forgot you get Isadora on this map. She's great. Angelic Robe is great. Um... I think most people give this angelic rope to her. Uh, it helps with her bulk a little bit, considering she has as much defense as Sane right now. It's pretty funny. I also love this map theme. Oof, so good. Distant travels. I don't really use Isadora on my maps either, on my runs. So, I don't even care that they have Axe Reavers. They're all gonna die anyway. They're gonna open that. Uh, let's see if we can Ninian Marcus over to block that door. I don't think we can. 
should have been more careful with my battle preps. Can Marcus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me restart for a second here. I noticed Nils conked out on the ground. That's comedy. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's another thing about this map is your first turn is surprisingly critical. <laughs> because they open this door, they open this door. Uh, I think they might start breaking this down too. So if you're not in position by turn two, the map can get really hard for you because then the choke points aren't like being blocked in time. The game OST reminds me of the Ruoni Kenshin OST. Ooh. I haven't heard that. Is it also like a GBA thing? Does Heath come ready to promote? Does he come at level 10? Because I am in desperate need of a good flyer. <clears throat> Eight? Oh, ay, 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 ay. 90s anime, I see. Heath also has hard mode stats, so he's great. You're right, actually. You know, Dusty, that anime sounds familiar. I might have, uh, I might have saw an ad for it back in, like, Shonen Jump, <laughs> when it was uh, still in English in uh, North America. Have you made up your mind about Lynn and Hector's pairing? Sorry, I didn't see your message. Uh, no idea. No idea. <laughs> I wish I could say more about it, but I've been thinking so much about it that I really... That's, like, I've come to the conclusion that I have no idea, and I think it's going to stay that way for a while. I'm considering... Because first it was going to be Lynn Florina, but then Florina died. So now I'm guessing it has to be Lynn Wrath, but I don't want to use Wrath. Uh, for Hector, for Hector, I guess, Hector Farina? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I have no idea. Retsu, I need to link you the Toonami trailer for Rono Kenshin. You'll be hooked thanks to Peter Cullen's epic voice. Did you get Florina killed? Yeah, I did. I did. Sorry, did I say Florina? I said Farina. I said, I meant Farina. Farina. And then there's Florina, and then there's Fiora. Is it, you, there's a difference, you see. Why don't you want to use Wrath? I don't know. I don't like archers. That's it. I think we need Eliwood's A rank slot for Ninian. Yeah, yeah, no. El Eliwood Nin Ninian is like set in stone. I'm pretty dead set on that pairing. <laughs> Pour one out for Effie Archers. Yeah, that's right. Also, I'm very glad that someone com uh, complimented my- That guy just crit? What is- what is happening in this run? <laughs> Those green units popping off, what the hell? You just crit. <laughs> I think archers are pretty solid these days. GB archers are big oof. Yeah, you should all, guys, you should all go watch. Um, I think Lizard, actual Lizard actually did a video on F archers, I think, right? I haven't watched that one yet, but I can speak to his other content being pretty solid. Uh, 
I know, thanks for stopping by. Like, I don't, I don't know how you found the stream, but <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking about Fire Emblem. I, I'm not even talking about Fire Emblem half the time, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but we were talking about anime and other random bullcrap, and these people listen to me for some reason, so... That's the vibe tonight. All the time, actually. How do we... I'm thinking... Ah, uh, this Heath. I mean, no one's really in position to re recruit him anyway, so I don't think I should even be pushing forward here. Maybe I'll just bide my time and, uh... I would like to use that Light Rune now, actually. Yeah. We'll just block this off for a little bit. I browse the Fire Emblem Twitch take pretty often. Oh, I see. I'm glad to be, like, the one person playing Fire Emblem 7. <gasps> but this isn't, like, my primary thing. I do a lot of uh, Fire Emblem art and comics. And I just started streaming, like, recently, uh, because I just wanted to talk about my favorite obsession of Fire Emblem. And I've met some really, really fun people. So, yeah. That's what it's been like. How do I, how am I supposed to be dealing with this right now? I want to be, I want to be, I want to kill this wyvern. Yeah. I commentated Let's Play channel, we're never on topic. I enjoy listening to the streams. I barely know anything that's so kind and funny in general and knowing yourself. Yeah, nice, thank you. I'm glad that uh you know, I'm glad that you I'm glad that you feel that way because here's the thing, is a lot of the vibe of the stream more of it than you think is not determined by me. <laughs> is determined by the chat. Uh because I'm just one person talking, right? And then there's the entire chat responding to what I say. So, uh, I'm very good, I'm very glad and fortunate to have, like, a community of very, uh, considerate and kind people, and they're very chill. So, yeah, thank you guys for that. For making people feel welcome. Good night, Retsu. Oh, I know even the thing you're doing with the buddy waifu war. Oh, yeah, 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 waifu's great. Haifu is superb. He's gr he is like, oh my gosh. He's so talented. How many maps are left? Like, dude, like 15? I don't know, man. Like, a lot. At least 10. Can I, uh... Can I do this? Am I allowed to just uh, give Lin some EXP here? Support. No, no, no support. I should bring Legault over to the right. What am I? Sorry, to the left. What am I? What am I doing here? And we should probably bring Hector over here too to recruit to recruit uh, Heath. And uh, let's just. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. What level is Lin? Oh, dude, do you want to know? Uh, how do I switch over to Lin? Uh, yeah, just yeah. Here we go. Five. We're not using her. All right, points have been choked. I don't know if I want to move Isadora right now, actually. Maybe she can, like, go help on this side. I don't know. Your take? I think Lin would be much stronger if she could use bows. I don't know about that. I, I, I it, it sounds good on paper, but also, I don't think there's. Hmm, I don't think bows are just that good in this game. Oh my god, that guy got crit. <laughs> what is going on? What character is your avatar based on? Robin from Fire Emblem Awakening. Then would be a good unit if she had the Swordsmaster crit bonus. 
How much is that? Like what? 30, 30 crit? 10 crit? Ephragore. Thirty. Thirty is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Give this unit flat thirty crit. Make her good. I saw a photo, but he has white hair. There is the red hair your original design. Oh boy, we had this conversation last stream, but uh, we could do it again. So. Awakening is, uh, it allows you to make your own character, like your own kind of self-insert. Uh, and the character creator there is what I use to create my Robin. So even though Robin has the white hair design that you see in Smash Brothers and on the Amiibo and stuff, Awakening allows you to make your own design, and that's the one that I have there. Yeah. No, no, no worries. I'm glad you're willing to, like, learn about this stuff. FE7 gameplay in 2024, cool. Yeah, it's just straight Fire Emblem 7. No strings attached, no Iron Man, no, uh, no, uh, mods. I don't know, man. We Old 30-year-old YouTube channel still serves Fire Emblem the old-fashioned way. <laughs> so I want to make sure that Heath doesn't... Hey, Abe, didn't you say Heath had, like, hard mode bonuses? What is this? Why is he getting shredded right now? It's interesting that Heath went out this way, because I guess I could bait him, uh, out. Also, the light rune was kind of a mistake, because the thief is going to get this chest. So, I need to figure this out ASAP. Technically is an Iron Man, half and half, but, like... If a certain unit dies, I will restart the chapter. So it's not like a hard Iron Man. Fe7 is your try Project Thabes. Is that the uh, Awakening mod? Listen, controversial decision. After this run, I was thinking about streaming either Fire Emblem 6 or The Last Promise. Because <laughs> I do not... I don't know if I want to wrestle with a 3DS emulator again. Uh, so I really want to be able to get this chest, but this light rune is just going to be here for a little bit. Uh, this point is choked, which is fine. Let's recruit Wrath, I guess. We can't, uh, we can't kill Lin, right? Let's see. 18 attack. You're fine. It's 12 speed. You're fine, Lin. You take a hit. Unless this guy uses his door key. In which case, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Back up, back up. <laughs> um, let's see. Probably wouldn't watch FE, FE6 streams, but that's only because we plan to play and don't want to be spoiled. That's understandable. Have you already played FE6? I have. So it would be an Iron Man. So think about it, okay? We have our canonical run of Fire Emblem 7, and then we get to see the fallout from that in our Fire Emblem 6 run. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Wait, this Lin got speed, uh, got strength like twice. What the heck? It's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. So Oswin is choking this point, so we're fine. Uh... Let's see if we can get Eliwood to get a kill. Nice. But this is... No, okay. These guys aren't in range. That's fine. I want to choke this point next and probably recruit Heath this turn with Hector. So I can move Hector here and then Ninian Dance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just enough spaces. Good. Let's bring that over. Anna knows you aren't using Lin and is rigging the levels to mess with me. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water, so listen to this good music. Be right back.
This is a banger. Yeah. So Dusty, this music, they've used this music in several different Fire Emblem games. They've reused this theme a lot, even in Smash Bros. That's how much of a banger this is. I've yet to play FE6, so I probably wouldn't watch her run. Well, here's my question is, are you guys going to play The Last Promise? We could do The Last <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Listen, I just want to, I just want to use a playable soldier. I'm, I'm hungry for playable soldiers, okay? I have an ulterior motive here, and it's called Playable Soldiers. Yeah, the tutorial crit. Yeah, so Oijem, uh... Lin will always get a crit on Bat of the Beast uh, as her final hit in the tutorial if you're doing Lin mode uh, easy. It's rigged. Insane get a kill. I will give Sane the kill. <laughs> because we're actually going to use Sane as opposed to Elliewood. But should I? I kind of want to move Bartray forward, but I need to kill this guy first, so let's hope it works. Okay, Sane. That's fine. Sane! Alright, I guess Sane doesn't want the EXP. That's fine by me. Elliewood can have it. when media reuses music yeah fire emblem has a lot of callbacks like even uh more subtle ones like in fire emblem awakening it was supposed to be the last fire emblem game so they s made so many callbacks to previous games they reuse maps from previous games they reuse uh music from previous games and if like unless you're an astute fire emblem player who's played like games from 1990 you're not going to be able to get all the references but that's fine because the fact that they even tried in the first place is really admirable and speaks to the kind of uh longevity and staying power that even older games in the series has i mean we're playing fire emblem 7 right now right like that's it that's the proof right there The arena theme for this game is a normal battle theme for Thracia. Yeah! I haven't played Thracia, but I think someone told me this uh, on an earlier stream. Do characters or scenes have specific late motifs? Good question, actually. Uh, play Fire Emblem Fates does that a lot. Three Houses does that a lot. Uh, they have, like, the Garrick Mock uh, late motif. <laughs> and the Edge of Dawn leitmotif, and then Fates has the uh, Ocean's Grey Waves leitmotif. So it definitely does that a lot, and it's something you pick up on too, for sure. In this game, I don't think so. Oh. Awakening, yes, Awakening is a leitmotif too. Get out of here, bot. We got another bot in the chat. Why are we getting so many bots in the chat? Like, I swear to God, we've been bot free for uh, several months and then all of a sudden, just a bunch of people. Uh, Let's see, how do I get rid of this mage? Axe Reaver, this guy, Axe Reaver, Sword Reaver. Does Heath die? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, because then we have the... This... Mage hitting him? Right? Or no. No, we don't. I guess we're okay. Well, and again... I do want to clear this channel so we can run in here later, but... Uh, I want to kill this mage, though. Wait, this guy, this bow can reach, can he? Yep. Okay, good. Whew. Close one there. Let's kill.
Lords in this game do have their own theme that share a leitmotif. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. That's cool. Uh, this is my problem right now, is... I don't think we're gonna be able to get that chest. I don't think Heath is, uh... We're gonna choke this point. Which means that we're not gonna be able to break through. Oh, Heath, right. Let's turn on the animation for him. In the chest, anyway? Let's find out, actually. I'm not sure. Uh... A thousand... Ten thousand gold and a Brave Axe. I guess that's not, like... Super important, but... It's nice to have. And if I can get it, I will. Gold isn't too important, because I have the Silver card. Uh, the Brave Axe is, like... Eh. Would you rather have a Brave Axe or four Hand Axes? I would have four Hand Axes, is what I'm saying. Does he get double tier? Okay, good. No. Alright. I might turn off uh, animations in a bit, actually. At least for Oswin. <laughs> because Oswin is... too good. Took us a while to get our head to the right space to give hand access to Hector, but oh boy, yeah. Thank you guys for answering all my random questions, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh, you know, I didn't ask you guys how your uh, days are. He's gonna die quickly. Heal. How's everyone's day going? I didn't ask. Hope you guys are having a good day. Bartray's insane right now. Is he gonna double? <laughs> oh my god. Day's been good, he's been playing Minecraft? Nice. Minecraft's fun. Is it multiplayer? I, I feel like I only ever played Minecraft multiplayer. Interesting, so the thief specifically goes for- Oh, don't, don't load. Don't load state. Save state. I'm gonna do another save state actually, just in case. Oh my god, Wrath, stop it. Did grocery shopping? That's good. Day was bored. Mine's gonna be torture. Good luck on that. Mine is doing well. Day one, two, three of drawing every day. Wow! That's an insane challenge. I can never do that. <laughs> drawing all watching me. Nice. Oh, not multiplayer, but pretty heavily modded. I see. Yeah, mods are a pain to run in multiplayer from the last time I tried, which was like years ago. Now here's the question. Can we do one, two, three, four? Can we get four units through... Can we have four units, like, m try and bust through this area and not die on enemy phase? 
to get that 10,000 G's. It's not too hard depending on what you do. Oh, interesting. Okay, I guess things have changed. Be cool. If there's a stream where we all play together. Yeah, that'd be fun. Community night. Honestly, like most of the community nights have just been in my Discord. We we sat in VC, and I think we ended up playing Gartic Phone last time. It just was completely spontaneous and out of nowhere. Uh, someone just suggested we play, and I was like, "Yeah, sure, why not? It's fun." And I think last time we just drew. I just drew for like hours on end and I drew the the Jill Valhalla piece. I'll play what? Yeah, we played Gartic Phone. <laughs> I generally try to like uh, carve out time uh, on the weekends, usually Friday or Saturday, right? to just hang out in the Discord for a little bit, because I enjoy talking to you guys. You're all pretty cool. Where do I find Discord link? Uh, uh, I'll give it to you. Give me a second. There you go. I should put it in my bio or something. It only, like, became public, like, two weeks ago, so I'm still trying to figure things out. But, yeah. I don't think- does this thief even go for the 10,000 Gs? Like, how would you even get that back from him? Speed 14. Can Legault steal back? Speed 18? Okay. This can happen. Bartre of a vol. Uh, no. Alright, we ball. Alright, being annoying there. Now you're fine. Time for me to go to bed. Okay, bye, Lizard. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good sleep. Proud to be an OG member. Yeah. We even need to do anything on this right side. These these wyverns are being choked pretty effectively. I'm just worried about this. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. All right. So these guys can't even. Yeah, so all we gotta worry about are these two goobers, which have 10 attack each, so I'm not really too concerned. Maybe I should be worried when Sane has zero res, though. What? Six speed, eight speed. Alright, so if I just sit Sane here, he'll be fine, right? Yeah, he's not gonna get attacked by the knights? Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, this guy is gonna attack him, though. That's a bit of a yikes. Uh, let's see if we can get someone to choke that point, like Hector. Yeah. That works. Uh, he's gonna get attacked by this guy, though. Isadora. I feel like I'm creating more problems for myself and just, like, hastily patching them up. Maybe it's time for Oswin to begin his march towards Ubin's, actually. And Isadora can choke this point. I think that works out. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Zero res, how the hell? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, how is that possible? I thought he, I thought he had res at base.
But yes, you, uh, have you guys noticed that I've been trying to do thumbnails for, uh, hang on, what is this guy's, uh, Sword Reaver, Steel Bow? I don't trust like that. I'd rather just have Isadora choke the point normally and not try and kill these guys. Yeah. Have you guys noticed that I've been trying to do thumbnails for each part? I've been, like, doing little doodles and updating them. That's a lot of fun, actually. I did, uh, last night I did, uh, ones for part, like, what? I don't even know what part we're on, like, five and six? So, that was the one with Florina and the one with Kanas. That was so funny, because I thought about the concept of Kanas doing, like, the nerd emoji thing. And then I was like, oh, that's so funny. I actually need to do that. Because Kanaz was a MVP of Dragon's Gate, I swear. He was really, really good. Promoting him was such a good choice. And I'm glad I did it. Oh, sleep. Right, I forgot I had this. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I have noticed. I think your thumbnail for this part should be one of the characters choking an enemy. <laughs> You're choking a lot of points, yes. I admire your build. Oh, I sped up. I admire your ability to make cute stylized drawings. It's so hard. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It's a lot of practice of like years of doing the comic. I, that would be funny, actually, Kage. That's a great idea. You know the uh, the Last of Us Two meme of I think it was like Ellie choking Abby, and they like did redraws of those. That would be fun. Teach me one day, a oh wise one. I think what really helped was using a really thick uh, brush. Because then uh, you get to add a lot of uh, line, like weight and thick lines to it that make it look more cartoonish, I guess. Like, I was using really, really thin lines for a lot of my comics, and then one day I switched to a thicker pen, and I was like, Oh, of course! This looks so much better. <laughs> That's just my own opinion, though. I don't know if it'll work for you, but give it a try. You know, you're using a thick brush a lot. Yeah, like, I use a very thick brush for um, my comics, and I use a relatively thinner brush for my other stuff. I was hoping Barcher would kill that Wyvern Rider so we could clear this area, but... It's okay, because all the range units are going to kill himself on Bartre anyway. I use thick lines too, but that's because my thin lines are always super unsteady. Have you thought about looking into a, uh... Use Clip Studio, right, Kage? There's a stabilizer function in Clip Studio that helps a little bit with that. The thicker brush the line can be part of the art and the detail. I use stabilizer. Yeah, you can turn it up a little bit. I, I, what's my stabilizer at? Actually, let me double check. I honestly find myself. What did Bartry just get? I didn't see. I didn't see his level. I was opening Clip Studio. I, I heard one ding, and that was it. My stabilizer on my thin pen is twenty-four, and my stabilizer on my thicker pen is fifteen. I think I like speed. Are you kidding me? Speed again? That's insane. Ouch. Rit. That bar tray dude is crazy. Dude's been soloing since the first stream. That's the funny part, right? Um, Dusty, because usually he's one of the one of the worser units in the game. Also, we do not get the 10,000 Gs, which is very sad. Uh, we will get the we will get the Brave Axel. The 10,000 Gs has disappeared into, like, the ether. It's not in his inventory, that's for sure. What's with all the crits, right? Like, have you seen- have you ever seen a green unit crit before? I almost wish I had animations on for that, but like, one of the green units crit. <laughs> but yeah, Dusty, like I was saying, uh... 
Bartray is considered like one of the uh, the not so good units in the game uh, because axes have low uh, hit and also he's really really slow. And uh, what else? Well, why else is Bartray bad, guys? But I think we just got really lucky because. Oh, Dusty, I don't think you... Oh, right. If you're new to Fire Emblem, you don't know this, but every single time your unit levels up, the stats he gets are random. It's based on uh, something called growth rates, which are a set number of percentages to each stat, and that percentage is like whether or not the stat will level up on, uh, on a level up. So for a knight, they would have like a growth rate of, I don't know, like... 70 or 80 so they have a high chance of getting defense on level up because knights are great at defending for bartre he has a lot of strength because he's a big muscle man but he also has like what like 30 percent in speed so it's insane that we're getting this good <laughs> with the speed right now what level do we promote him at it was 20. chat voted and it was 20. so he's pretty good I'm going to turn off animations. I think I'm good. Oh my god. Okay, I, I thought we crashed. <laughs> I was like holding my breath. Let me do a safe state real quick. Okay. But yeah, like, uh, generally Bartray isn't great. Which is funny for me to be saying that because we kind of have a monster on our hands, but... That's that's the story. <laughs> that scared me for a second. Yeah, like it's never froze for that long before. Oh, Marcus might actually get stolen from if he has anything to steal. Actually, oh no, he's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're good. Rule of large numbers: the more often he levels up, the higher chance of a good level up. Yeah, but like no, but he's. I swear to God, he's gotten speed like five more times than he's supposed to. I don't know why, I don't know how, but that's not the way this is Bartray is supposed to work. Oh, Sane, good work. Even you can kill these people. Or unless you die by 30% crit, that is, I suppose. Or 3% crit. <clears throat> Okay, Elliewood, here's the plan. Do these people have long bows? No, they don't. Okay. Elliewood, you're gonna kill this guy. Or you're gonna attack this guy and soften him up for Sane. Don't die. He just built different. Yeah, he actually is. <laughs> just couldn't stand the thought of getting all those juicy levels. Yeah, I thought about that too. I, I think that I think like that too. Uh, back when I first started playing the game, and uh, what really got me to change my way of thinking was realizing that on level up, on promotion, you get stats, right? So theoretically, a promotion is like two or three levels now instead of two or three levels later. Uh, it's kind of getting like an advance. And units don't usually hit 2020 anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference from my experience, whether or not you promote them like earlier, uh, later. I was gonna laugh if Ellie would crit. I think he had zero crit. Hector <laughs> might die. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Insane tank. I somehow I doubt it. Can Kanas tank with Nosferatu like Awakening? I would love it if that could happen. Does Nos take like half or all the HP? I want to see it happen. Hollywood had like, he had 14? Oh, I'd not notice.
Can Sane survive this? I don't know about that one. Not the Sword Reaver guy. Then again, Elliewood is kind of in... Is Elliewood in danger right now? You could, you could try sleeping a problem enemy. Good idea. I have not been using my sleep staves at all, actually. Let me see. Steel bow. Sword reaver. Sword reaver. Sword reaver. Steel bow. Here's what I think I'm going to do then. I'm going to sleep... Uh, I'm going to sleep this guy. So... Theoretically, that will stop Kanaz from getting 1-2 by uh, the mercs. Let's do it. I want to go to bed, I feel so tired and sick. Go to sleep then, Joro. Jory. Joro. Yeah, Joro. Take care of yourself, yeah, exactly. Don't feel like you gotta stick around. We're, we're about ending this map anyway, and you can always, you know, uh, look at the VOD later. You have a character ref sheet for your profile picture character for research purposes. Uh... Probably? Uh, not, not, not like a actual sheet, but... Uh, since I do, you know, do the comic and all that, I probably have enough drawings of him to the point where you could make, like, a sheet <laughs> and be like, oh, this is what he looks like from every single angle. I'll see if I can get you some images, Dusty. Heath can just sit around, I guess. I don't know, man. I guess Heath can kill this guy. We don't really, we don't really need the lockpick anyway, so we're good. Do you die if you hit? Oh, okay. We're good. Comic? Yeah. Sorry if I can't say any more. College is killing me. Have good luck. Yeah. Good night, Joro. Take care. You just look at Robin's default outfit. Yeah, that works too. Like it's 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 uh it's a fairly straightforward design. <laughs> I appreciate like uh, you like being considerate and asking, um, but um, it's it's pretty simple. But if you want, I'll get you some Im images as well. Because I do simplify. Oh, whoa. I do simplify a lot of the uh, design for the comic. So not all of the details are there. And that being said, you know if you include more details, that's like that's fine as well. It doesn't matter. Comic? Oh, Oi Gem Prime, do you not know about the comic? The Fire Emblem comic? My claim to fame? Critically acclaimed comic? Is Nose half? Let's see. Oh no, it's all. All damage, okay. No, we don't. I think we found you through this playthrough. Oh, then check out my, uh... Check out my Twitter. I do a lot of Fire Emblem art and comics. Uh, my Twitter is at the Bakaretsu. Don't worry if the regular design from official art is good, safe for Red Hair, I'll use that. Yeah, exactly. That's perfectly fine. But yeah, Oi Gem. It's like, uh, oh, don't have Twitter? Okay, then check me out on uh, Reddit, I guess. Reddit slash you slash Bakaretsu. <laughs> I post all my comics there. I do a lot of Fire Emblem art and comics. But it's cool that you found me through um through the stream though. I always assume that most people that watch my stuff uh know about my art already. So it's interesting and it's nice to see like my reach is going in other directions as well. Wait a second, actually. You know, it's not even... You should have your card in bio. That's true, actually. Oswin crit, always nice. Actually, Oi Gem Prime, just go to YouTube. <laughs> go to my YouTube and you can see my comic dubs on my channel right there. Just look up, uh, you know, YouTube slash Bakaretsu. Oh no, not rats unit. 
Yeah, there you go, Dusty. Thank you so much. How long is this Wyvern Rider sleeping for? Three more turns? Bro, it feels like he... <laughs> It feels like he went to sleep, like, five turns ago, I swear. Six out of eleven turns. How are we looking? That's not bad. It's clearing up down here. Oh my god, Elliewood, you can almost one-round the, wyv the Wyvern Lord. Wyvern Rider. That's insane, Elliewood. Lista has quite some range. Be careful where you put Heath. Yeah, don't worry. Heath is not going anywhere close to the right side of the map. I think we delayed watching until we finished FE7 ourselves. Ah, right, cool. He's not going to get hit. Uh, Elliewood, that is, by the Ballista, I'm pretty sure, so... Oh, sorry, he's not getting hit by the Wyvern Rider. It's like an Axe Reaver, so he has, like, 20 hit on him. Yeah, that's fine. But, uh, I want to keep moving forward, so maybe I'll... Ooh, Longbow. Perfect. Fellas, we got this. This is a, like... We had some two very, very long maps tonight, but... I'm glad that we're kind of drawing it to a close, because I'm, get I'm getting tired. You gonna bank on that 22 hit? I will. Absolutely I will. Because if he gets hit, I can always rescue him back. With, uh... There's no one nearby to rescue him back, actually, so... <laughs> Might be a bit of a gamble, but... You know, it's okay. Incredible how low might a longbow is. Another reason why bows aren't so great in this game. The one, like, niche they have is kind of subpar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Started watching you, and now I'll end here too. Thanks for being entertaining. All right, Dusty. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Glad I could, you know, fill a void and uh, have a good night. Oh, Druid quit. <laughs> Druid crit, let's go. I ain't gone yet, though, lol. Oh, okay, 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 no worries. Yeah, we're, we're gonna finish up in a little bit, so. Not a big deal. I want to get Sane some EXP, though. This is supposed to be tr Sane's training arc. And we've gotten him, like, nothing so far. I'm a little disappointed. In myself. Legault could, uh... Legault could, uh... I don't know. Let's figure this one out first, actually. Can I ask crit? Yeah, dude. So cool. I do feel like some classes definitely got favoritism because their crit animations are entirely new animations like the paladin charge or the warrior spinny thing and then other classes are just like they do a cool thing and then their regular attack animation like the druid or the um sage you know not to say those other animations aren't good as well but it's just something i've noticed Legault even? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Sane's getting that EXP. Alright, getting the kill at least. Merm crits. Yeah, Merm crits are fun. Swordsmaster crits? Oh, superb. What even is a Valkyrie crit, actually? 
I don't remember what that looks like. I'm sure I've seen one, but Valks are kind of uh, not around in GBA FE as much. Have you noticed that all the animations that spin their weapons use the same sound effect? Yeah. Yeah, they, they like to reuse it, but it's fine because that sound effect is the coolest thing in the world. And like the, uh, I don't even know how you describe it. It's like a crit, like, flap? The flat, like the, the, the sound effect, you know, the, like, the, the, like, uh, sounds like when you play with a door stopper, <laughs> the, the coil door stopper. It sounds like that. That sound effect is really cool. Valk's crits aren't too special. Yeah, I see, I see. That's about what I imagined. This is a great strat I unintentionally invented. If you sleep the person, like, here, the archers can't actually attack the unit that's defending. <laughs> I never realized this. That's useful. That's good to have. Alright, Bartre. Yeah, but Valks have goaded attack animations anyway. They do. They do. I'm tempted to give the uh, Angelic Rope to Bartre for memes. Isn't the maximum HP a unit can have like 60 or something like that? We could, we could, we could cap that. Or is it like, uh, I forgot what it was, like 80 maybe? Wait, when did Elliewood have 10 HP? Did Elliewood always have 10 HP? Why did... Oh, that was gonna kill him, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. 7 defense and uh, 16 attack. That would have done 9 damage to him. He would survive with 1 HP, I think. Yeah, that was close. Ooh, okay, we're sending it back. You didn't know he had 10 HP? I did it! I thought he had full! <laughs> Oops. Is Doris Bowser is really pretty? Yeah, it is. And it was at 10 HP for a while. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, I'll heal him. All that talk about rescuing him, I thought you knew. I I mean, I just assume Elliewood's made a paper, so I don't assume, like, I just assumed he couldn't survive, um... I just assumed he couldn't survive the, uh, a hit from a Wyvern Rider and the Ballista. I didn't think one of those would kill him. I thought both of those would. <laughs> That's funny. Female paladin sprites. Yes, we need more female paladins. Horse girls, if you will. Alright, Ubins. We're gonna get ya. We're coming to go get ya. Any second now. We're really close. And maybe we can get Sane the kill, actually. And then we could promote him. Sounds like a plan. Oh, he moves. Wait, what? I did not know he moves. I forgot.
Oh, you know what? We can get Lin some EXP too now that, uh, oh my god, what is going on? Okay, Sane, I don't know if I can get you any EXP this time. Uh, I know you're really close to leveling, but... Is Bartry gonna get the kill again? <laughs> no way. Ain't no way. Does he have a jab? How much does he do? Sane does not live against the boss. Nine... Fellas, I don't know if Sane's gonna make it. I would like to promote Heath, though. Let's hit it. Nice. <clears throat> I would like to end the map this turn, but I'm not sure if... Uh... I should. Because we're missing out on some EXP for Sane. Uh, Bartray, can you kill? Oh yeah, he can kill. I'll just get some EXP, I guess. Not a level. Ooh, that's painful. Alright, Lin, can you get a kill? Yes, you can. Nice. Uh, let's get a dance for Kanas and see if we can get Ellie Wood a kill. And then we're gonna end the map. Oh man, my throat is like sore. I don't know, man. I've talked a lot tonight, I guess. This was a longer stream than usual. When did we start? Like nine? Nine and then we went on for like two and a half hours? Good lord. These are really long maps, so... Yeah, I'm not surprised. I can't wait for the uh, Slog of Destiny stream, though. That's gonna be fun. I think that might just have to be like one stream by itself. <laughs> Do dancer levels even matter? Not really. Unless you, you know, have your dancer enter battle. But that should never happen, so... There we go! Ending the map! Let's go! No regrets, my life and death are my own. And your knight's crest is now mine. Ba Bam, got him. Commander Eubins has gone down. Uh, sound the retreat. We've no more reason to fight. There he goes, we've done it. I had so much fun here today, thanks for streaming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for stopping by, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hand it over, that thing, your knight's crest. <laughs> POV, you are knight's crest, and it's like just Garen picking up Corin. What's your schedule for these? Um, do you want my Discord for the, like, the, if you want direct updates? But you can look at my Twitter or YouTube as well for the announcements. I usually announce them the day before, and that's usually Wednesday or Thursday. Sometimes Tuesday. Uh, and it's around the same time, basically, 8 p.m. ET. Uh, this time we started like an hour later, but usually it's an hour before. Crests are to blame. The crests are the are to blame. <laughs> that was fun as always. Good night. Yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Um, we're just kind of going through the story here. I think. Oh, interesting. Uther is a general. I forgot about that. They're meeting with, like, Hector's brother, and basically they're like, Oh man, this guy Nurgle, he's bringing back dragons and gathering quintessence. What do we do? And Uther's like, go talk to this guy in the desert. Uh, and then 
you know, he'll go help you. So we're gonna go see the uh, Arc Sage. And I believe the next chapter is Living Legend. Which is also... It's okay. It's, and it's Fog of War, so instantly it's kind of bad. Go and meet the Living Legend. Yeah, see, that's it. Like, I know the story. I know the story by heart. It's like, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, you know? You didn't know Uther was a general? Well, I didn't know his sprite was a general. <laughs> Brave, I guess, yeah, did they reference that in Brave Hector? You plan to do the guidance for that chapter? No. That chapter is a pain. That guidance is a pain in the ass to do. Oh, interesting. That's cool, actually. All right, that's it. Living Legend. We're done. Uh, we'll look at the story next time, but thank you all for joining. Uh, oh, here's the map, if you guys are curious. Uh, this map looks like... Oh, this is a pretty simple chapter, right? The instant you enter the map, you you lose vision, which is very funny. Like, look. Insane. Like, who thought of this? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, the map where Pent is a monster. But we'll do that next time. Uh, next week sometime we'll uh, resume our Fire Emblem 7 stream. But for now, thank you all for joining. I uh, really appreciate you guys coming out, even though I was a little late. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good night. Bye-bye.